2023 Disney Kakawao Cosmos. The maestro is going to take us on a journey. <laughs> a journey down Kakawao Cosmo Lane. Cosmos. Two boxes. This is a pick your parallel. Pick your poison. Pick your parallel. 79. 80 will be the last break of this case. I don't see any more Kakawao. You gotta do the thing. You do the thing? What thing? This the thing? Here. I did that one. No, I'm saying this. Yeah, yeah, I did this one. Oh, okay. Huh? Fat one. Got a fatty. You can put him at the bottom. Yeah. Do you really want to <laughs> Hey, counselor. The counselor! I actually haven't seen the Game of Thrones either. I watched, Raj, I watched the first ep. So I think I've said this before, but I love like wizards and warriors and dragons and magic and like all that stuff. Like I love that stuff. I'm like a total dork nerd. I absolutely love that stuff to the maximum, like more than most people. But I've watched the first episode of Game of Thrones literally like three times and I found it to be the most boring episode ever. And I, like, didn't end up watching the second one because the first one was so bad. And then I end up, like, waiting, like, three, six months and then, again, convincing myself to go and try it again. It's kind of like... And I watch that first episode again, and again, it's, like, snail pace. It's kind of like Breaking Bad. I just... Uh, well, Breaking... The, yeah. The beginning, you know? The Honestly, beginning The Wire was better. slower than the Breaking Bad. The Wire is slow at the beginning. The Wire is better. I think The Wire is, like, the best show, but The Wire is way slower No, the first, at the, the beginning. First I admit that. The Wire is, is super like, slow. Like, I'm not denying that Game of Thrones is a great show. I'm sure it's a fantastic thro show. And I definitely need to watch it, because it's the sort of show that I would love and appreciate. But I've, I've admittedly struggled to get past that first episode. Yeah, it's great, and then they rush the end. Which yeah, is, I heard about that. You know, a bummer. There's zero doubt in my mind that I would love the show if I if I committed to it, guys, like Riches. I totally would love it. I would love it. Music, I would love it. I know it would. Oz was solid. I'm definitely going to watch it. What's your favorite nut, Raj? And do you eat the nuts that they sell on the street, like in New York, like the nuts for nuts? For the record, I do, and they're very good. <clears throat> I mean, if we're going to go there, right? Cashew, peanuts, hazelnuts? Talk to me, Raj. Or how nut pistachios are good, too. What walnuts? Walnuts are the best. These nuts for, for nuts for nuts for walnuts. I get it. I like walnuts too. Walnuts are good. I, I like cashews. I want that lamb on rice that they have at the whole car. <laughs> that sounds good. God, that, that sounds, sounds good. good. Pistachios are great. I love pistachios. I used that like three times when I was in New York. Oh yeah, the um, halal guys. The halal. Well, it wasn't There's halal guys. It was just the guy or whatever. Yeah. One of the guys on the corner or whatever. Yeah. Just... There's a few of them. There's so a couple good. famous ones. They're amazing. I love it. I remember back in the day before, like, they had, like, actual locations. It was always just carts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Then Halal guys got famous. Oh, yeah. Merida. I mean, they're still good. Well, because all, all the cab guys were going there. And of course, bro. I went there when you, I was in college. Want, I used if to you want to go where there. the good, cheap food is, follow the cab guys. Yes, for they're sure. They're all going to know where the, where the good, cheap food is. Merida. That's for sure true. Hector. Mrs. Potts and Chip there. They don't have a ton silver. of money, but they want to eat good food, and they all know. When I was a kid and I first started going into Manhattan or the city and then taking cabs and whatever, and then I came home, I think I was like 14, and my dad, I told my dad, I was like, man, the cab drivers drive crazy, and he goes, nah, Andrew, he goes, they drive good. <laughs> you know? My dad's a good driver, too. It was like, 
It was like back in the day, like when they all had that's the thing on the. It, they it's but they were good, man. They were good drivers. You know, it was different <laughs> back in the day when medallions were worth a million and a half. Yeah, now yeah, they're yeah, worth, yeah. Now they're worth what forty k. Oh really? They're worth nothing now because, because of Uber? Uber. Yeah, they're worth nothing. Maybe less than forty k. Maybe like five k or something. 10K, oh really? Fifteen k. They're worth nothing. Yeah, people lost their lost their whole businesses because of that stuff. Alice, wow, Alice. On the silver for Park Grill and Bar. Yeah, nice they were one. super expensive, right? The they they, they were, were a million and a half at peak. A million and, and a half? Mm -hmm, at peak, they were like a million and a half. To have the uh, ability to drive a cab? Yes. Yep. And how do you get that? You just so get, it no. Gets so what would happen is there was a yeah, there was a guy. That, there'd be like one guy that owned the garage, and he would own all these medallions, and then he would have the medallions attached to the car, and he'd rent out the car, and there'd be two guys that would share a cab. Or two or three guys, you'd each do a twelve-hour shift, or like eight-hour shift, or eight-hour shift, and you would you would go back to the garage and you'd swap with the next guy. You know, you'd clean and the car. And then you'd pay the guy. And you'd pay the guy who who owns, who owns the whole the garage and owns all the medallions and owns all the cabs. Yeah. Oh, so the cab drivers don't own the medallions. No, usually not. No, it's like one. It's the guy who owned the garage. Gotcha. That would own the medallions usually. And then and then they just pass that business over to the kid and. Yes. This pack is being Whoever stuck. had that at the beginning. Yeah. No. No. Never ever mail with pastrami. Yeah, well, how do we mail pastrami now? How do we get on that? No mayo pastrami. No more in then. I'm not a big mayo fan anyway. Just in Russian general. with pastrami. Russian with pastrami is good. Or mustard with pastrami. Must mustard is Yellow how mustard I sounds great. Pinocchio, he sounds good too. Not with a pastrami, but with a silver. But male pastrami does not sound. Alice and Pinocchio. Now we're going. Yeah, I'm not school. a male person. Either. No mayo. J &D. I like mayo, but not on freaking pastrami. No, I, I like just, I'm not a huge male. Spirit. In let's get spiritual for Park Row and Bar. There's the pool <coughs> on the base. Spirit. Oh, it's a centerpiece. <coughs> it's pan. The pan is here. You need a... Uh... One of my favorite Disney movies, by the way, is Hook. I loved Hook. Oh, yeah, that's a good Great movie. movie. There's Peter Pan himself on the centerpiece. Or Park Grill and Bar. Excellent, excellent, excellent spirit. Hook! I loved Hook, J&D. It's such a great movie. I don't know. We Do we have... What is this back here? Another spirit? Should no, it's right. a poster. It's oh, usually back-to-back -back spirits. It's not. It's a poster. Of Star Wars, La Resistance. To two eighty eight, it's the Star Wars Resistance poster piece. It's amazing to me how there's still so many that I've never seen. I don't. I banana mayo sandwich counselor. I just threw up in my mouth. That's disgusting. That sounds disgusting. That sounds awful. We're making music on the posters. I've never seen that one. Neither that movie nor that poster. What's that? That Resistance, the Star Wars Resistance. That's oh, the cartoon yeah, one? The cartoon one. Nick and Judy. Is that Zootopia? Nick and Judy from Zootopia on the spirit joining Pan here in the first box. Cool. I'm sorry, so <laughs> sorry. Are you Hawaiian? How do you get on banana, banana mayo sandwiches? How do you even die start cut, that? Die cut, R2D2, Tiana, Butch, and that's a great die cut. Look at that die cut. Oh, yeah. Gruff, Goat, and Billy. That is awesome. Great die cut. <laughs> great die cut there. That's so cool. <laughs> What's up, cardboard? Yeah, bro. 22. Ducky and Bunny and... Ooh, Baloo and the Ooh. fireworks. We're going Jungle Book. We're really staying old school here with Pinocchio and all these... The Cray Crays. Baloo! Fireworks for Park Grill and Bar. Cosmic. Fireworks. Last hit. Last hit. It's heavy. Oh, we that's have, the heavy one. We yeah. have a whole other box, but this that's is heavy. heavy it's a heavy piece. Yeah, that's a heavy pack. 
This is a heavy piece. We'll burn the back there. We got a heavy piece coming. It's a heavy piece. Boo. Bass. Sith Trooper. Bass. I'm gonna see one of them porcelain things. Pumba. Bass. Well, we hit commemorative medallions. This is more likely to be a car porcelain. Let's take a look. It may also be a medallion. It's a medallion. I think that's an Ultron medallion, but I could be wrong. It is. Hey now, you're an all-star commemorative medallion. Two medallions. Bass! These things are so heavy, it's crazy. Ultron, the Avengers, 17 of 255. I can't believe it. it's actually amazing how heavy these cards are. Yeah. Like, dude, before I put, like, just like. I know. It's so crazy, bro. It's so much weight in the card. What is that made out of? I think porcelain. It's not metal? I don't know. <laughs> it's heavy. Whatever it is, it's unbelievably heavy. <clears throat> Mr. Bass, 17 of 255. I can't believe we got two commemorative medallions. Very nice. Very difficult to hit that stuff. Very difficult. Oh, those are hard. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, you're getting max one a case usually, and we just got two. You never see that. Oh, no, this is the, the other one was the other case. The first one we hit. Was it? Yeah, that was the other case. That was the first case we did. Was it? Yeah. 75. You're right, it was the last right? break of the other yeah. case. <clears throat> now I stand corrected, it all makes sense. Howard Stark, I was he's a sharp. Same case, first break? No, 75 I think was a... Uh, 75 would have been the last, last Would have been one. the last of the last case, I think, yeah. Stark there on the, on the silver. Yeah, Iwasi's a sharp. We're on 79 now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because we have six, seven, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver of Doctor Strange, nice. There's 10 boxes in a case? Yes. Yeah. This is a great product. You know, everybody's going to be sad. How much do these cost for, for a box? This is, this is like a solid, this is like... Two, three hundred? Robots. So a little, yeah, a little over, like around 200 and change. Yeah. Um, forwards, all forwards. They they went up. They were like 160, then 180, and then 200. I'm not 100 percent sure what they are right now, but right around there. Bullseye. Corvus Glaive. We pay way cheaper than paying a rip. Disney, Tops to Chrome Disney. Oh, dude, that's so that's super expensive. That's it's a thousand bucks now. Eleven hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah. Mulan on the silver, lots of silvers, very pretty stuff. Can you give me a pack of fifty nines? Or three, three packs. Poster Marvel. Oh, it's the Hulk on the uh, Avengers Infinity War poster, 288. That's nice. The Hulk. We hit a few of these tonight, but not the Hulk. We hit um, Winter Soldier and some others. Nice hit on the poster for music. Resistance and Hulk on the Avengers. Interesting. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm not trying to monsters ink on the final frame. Wreck it, Ralph. Bucky. There's my cat, my PCPs. And oop, it's a spirit of Annie and Obi. Anakin and Obi Wan. The Star Wars spirit. What is it, nine pieces? 
Yes, nine per frame, and I think there's two sets per color. That's what I think it is, if that makes any sense. Like a Pixar and a Marvel or a... Like whatever, co yeah, like whatever color it is. But I think there are, I think there are a couple sets of the same name for the same color, which is annoying. So there can be like <clears> two. <throat> I guess probably, uh, I guess The Wire. I was going to say Sopranos, but probably The Wire. My favorite HBO show is The Newsroom. That's solid. Nick and Judy on the spirit. But The Wire is probably... The Wire or Sopranos, right? That's what I said, yeah. Is he, yeah, it's probably the one that you want to... I would say The Wire. <clears throat> That's your fourth spirit right there, Mr. Park Grill. Is Mr. Judy. Or, sorry, Mr. Judy. Nick and Judy. Um... But I really, I, I enjoyed the news. I, I was a journalism major in, in college, so it hits, it hits me in all the right spots with that movie, that, that show. Goss, <laughs> Pongo, Poe, and then a die cut of Ramon. I can only imagine whose voice is Ramon in the in Cars. I've never Which seen. Which Ramon? Is he the lowrider? Yeah. I think it's uh, Cheech. Cheech from Cheech and Chong. No I think way. so. I'm pretty That's sure great. it's. I'm pretty sure it's Cheech. No way, Ramon. <laughs> That's great. We got I think fireworks here, but I'm not sure. Either silver or fireworks. That's from Up, the final frame. Nemo. It is a firework of who is this? Enfy's nest. I don't know who this is. Enfys Nest? I've no I'm guessing this is from Star Wars. I honestly have no idea. On the cosmic you got Baloo. Cheech is also the yeah, voice of one of the Cheech. hyenas in the Lion King. No way. Yeah, no way. Cheech. You knew that? Cheech is also one of the voices of the lion the hyenas in Lion King. Is that are you trolling me, counselor? Really? I feel like he might be trolling us. Oh look at this. It's a Chinese paper cut for BC of K2SO. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, they're really cool. They're also really hard to get tens in, so I'm going to be clean. All oh, the foil, yeah. Yeah, they're hard to get a ten, but they. This is pretty crispy. To 159 there. Nice, nice hit on the Chinese paper. Paper cut. 58 of 159 going to BC. 100% tributes as well. Oh. Forwards. Let's do a recap of these two boxes. It's cool, right? Yeah, Dude, the cool. I'm telling you, I saw Why all Why do they call these. them paper cut? I don't know. All I know is that I saw all, like, all of these. I saw them graded. PSA 9s, 8s, 10s at, at the National... Every paper cut I saw was graded. BC, get it graded, man. I'm telling you, dude. Guys, get your good hits in Kakawao graded. I'm telling you. I saw so much graded Kakawao at the show, the National. It's beautiful stuff. It, it's, <coughs> this stuff, you grade it. And I graded so much of my chrome stuff. Grade it. Here's the silvers. Nice Alice there. Merida. Here's the spirits, Nick and Judy, Anakin and Obi-Wan. Nick and Judy again. I didn't realize you got two Nick and Judys. And then the pan centerpiece that kind of makes up for it. Ramon, Cheech, Gruff, Goat, and Billy on the die cuts. Two good die cuts. I don't know who this is. Enfys Nest? Enfys Nest? I don't know. Infestness? Infestness? Uh, sounds like a play on words. Balu from Jungle Book there on the fireworks. And then Infinity War on the Hulk poster. And then Star Wars Resistance. K2SO on the paper cut and the commemorative medallion to 255 for the bass. It looks like Ultron to me. I'll beat the sword on the Ultron. Let me know if you want that graded BC, the paper cut. Thank you guys for joining. Do I have a post it? Hey, bad about I do have a post it. Look at that. Look at me go. Two boxes. Pick your. Parallel number 79, thank you for joining Kakawao Cosmos. That was a break. The red